Hello, I'm Mark from Moonstone Publications. Welcome to this overview of some of the stories we've covered over the past week. But first, please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. In this week's update, more contribution pain for medical scheme members, insights into the reasons for two-pot withdrawals, a small FSP has fined more than a million rand for FICA violations, the FSCA reports a surge in financial penalties, the first Steinhoff conviction in South Africa, and China's stimulus package is said to shake up the financial markets. Medical schemes are ramping up their offerings of value adds, digital health solutions and wellness programs in a bid to sweeten the pill of their contribution increases for next year. Among the leading medical schemes, Discovery Health announced an average increase of 9.3%, followed closely by Momentum at 9.4%, Benitas at 10.2%, and MediHelp at 10.8%. Medical scheme administrators argue these increases are essential to ensure the financial stability and sustainability of their offerings. Despite the surge in withdrawal requests since the introduction of the two-pot retirement system, only 22% of eligible members have opted to take money from their savings component, says Discovery Corporate and Employee Benefits. This is lower than anticipated. However, Discovery believes withdrawals would have been higher if more members met the eligibility criteria. According to feedback from its members, the main reasons for withdrawals are covering home or car expenses, settling short-term debt and education expenses, likely children's school fees. The owner of a small FSP that was hit with a hefty fine has urged accountable institutions not to wait for an audit before getting serious about FICA compliance. The FSCA imposed a penalty of 1.1 million rand on Mika Financiela Dienste following an inspection two years ago. The fine was reduced after the authority conditionally suspended the payment of 600,000 rand. MFD was sanctioned for having a defective risk management and compliance program and for not establishing and verifying the beneficial owner of one client. MFD's owner spoke to Moonstone about what he has learned about complying with FICA. The FSCA levied administrative penalties of some 943 million rand on 31 individuals in 2023-24. This marks a dramatic increase from the roughly 100 million rand imposed on 44 individuals in the previous year, as outlined in the authorities recently released integrated report. Half of the total fine was imposed on the late Marcus Uester for market abuse contraventions. The FSCA debarred 156 people from providing financial services, down from 210 in the previous period. The first person convicted in South Africa in connection with the Steinhoff saga will avoid jail time provided he testifies in the criminal proceedings against his accomplices. The Specialized Commercial Crimes Court in Pretoria sentenced 79-year-old Dr. Gerhardus Diedrichs Berger to five years in prison, suspended for five years. Berger accompanied Steinhoff's directors on international trips to oversee their health. Just before Steinhoff's dramatic fall, Berger received a text message from the late Marcus Uester, the former CEO of Steinhoff, urging him to sell his shares, which he did. The People's Bank of China has unveiled what many are hailing as one of the largest stimulus packages in recent history, likened to the sweeping measures taken during the global financial crisis. The ambitious initiative aims to revitalize China's stock market, which has languished in a four-year slump, by mobilizing significant financial resources to support asset managers, insurers, and brokers in purchasing stocks. Investment analyst Ray de Klerk 
says the bank's aggressive intervention could reinvigorate not only the Chinese market, but also stimulate growth in international markets that are heavily tied to Chinese trade and investment. That's all we have for this week. You can read these stories and many more on our website, moonstone.co.za. Until next time, here's wishing you all the best from the team at Moonstone Information Refinery. <music>